Hey guys, Fat Snacks here, and today I am at a very different studio than my home studio. This one has significantly more expensive gear and is significantly more expensive. We are at Spotify Studios today in downtown Los Angeles, working on a super amazingly special project for Spotify singles. I'm doing a reimagined cover of You Get What You Give by The New Radicals, and I'm also doing an incredibly involved original composition that has taken a lot of brains cells to create. <laughs> Spotify Singles was created about seven years ago to give artists an opportunity to recreate one of their own songs in a different fashion and do a cover song. It's sort of based loosely on an old 45. There's an A side and a B side. So, and the A side being a reworked version of an original song and the B side being a cover. And it's all artist and cre creator owned. So it's not something that Spotify owns. It's something that the artist and the, or the label own that product. So that's kind of cool. So I'm always trying to evolve my sound and as a string player I really gravitate towards like old school string arrangements but I was thinking for this project like how cool would it be if we actually made our own sampling material. So I hit up my friend Ryan who's a super talented composer and arranger and I basically asked him can you write a short piece that's like halfway between Hisaishi and Mancini so that we can record it here in the studio and then I can sample it and chop it up for this track. So uh, as soon as I got the call from Bad Snacks, um, I just went to my piano and I just, I started to improvise. It's very simple, it's two notes. I don't even know what it means, but somehow there is something about it. And so I started to harmonize it. She wanted these really lush, beautiful chords. And then I maybe would come back and do, create a little bit of a journey. So really, I think the piece comes from two things. This little beginning, and then this, this, this sort of mystery chord. And uh, I, I kind of ended it on this, this floating chord that we kind of, oh, we're kind of sucked out of the moment. Today is a really big day because we have a bunch of musicians coming in, including the Whole Soul Quartet and Nyla Hunter, who is a harpist based out of LA that I've just been obsessed with her work. The road that leads us to the project here today actually started back in 2018, right when I moved here to Los Angeles. I had texted Jessie because I saw her on a YouTube video, and she had commented something on something I posted on Twitter, and I was a huge fan of her. When I moved out here, I was like, hey, I want to be friends. I didn't know you knew me. Do you have any shows? I'm going to come through. So that started a friendship that's lasted for over four years now. And uh, she called me uh, a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, I'm doing a session. I'll tell you more about it, but like, are you available on this day? And I was like, whatever it is you need, I'm clearing the schedule. So I called my boys, Daniel and Andrew. I was like, guys, you got to clear your schedule. We got something to do. so 
many amazing musical moments in this recording session. I'm so biased, but it was just so special to be in the quartet. Not just hearing these amazing players, but being able to play with them is just, it's so special. And they really just did an amazing job. So we tracked the primary parts and then we tracked the secondary parts on top of that, we overdubbed it. And the first time that we tracked through the secondary parts and really filled out those voicings, that was a really impactful moment. And I, I looked into the control room here and Ryan was just smiling ear to ear. But then also with Nyla and just letting her rip it up on harp, I was back here losing my mind, listening to every single pass. Just such a treat, such a treat. Beautiful, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so can we take it from uh, the fourth to last bar? Do you wanna start with um, right hand or left hand or? Okay, cool. I just kept feeling a lot of like Americana in it. Some Aaron Copeland, wide open pastures, grassy pastures with some pine trees in the distance kind of vibes. And uh, when we finally heard Jessie in our cans with her vocals and with her production, I just felt like we were creating something really powerful. Something that not a lot of people have heard before, but they're gonna hear and they're gonna be like, how have I been missing this all this time? So what's happening here at Spotify Studios is we are doing Spotify singles and we're also here recording a sample pack for Soundtrap using all of the vintage gear that Spotify Studios has to offer. So it's a synth nerd's wet dream. We can bleep that out or something. <laughs> I've been rocking it on the Juno 106. I've been playing the Mellotron they have here. They have a ream bass, which is some kind of bass that was made by a water heater company. They only ever put out one synth, and it's this bass synth. And it actually sounds pretty good. You see this bass booster? This is hilarious. I've been using a lot of these vintage synths and throwing them through some of the pedals that they also have here in the studio for the sound trap sample packs. Everyone that watches my stuff knows that I love the microcosm hologram, amazing. Uh, they also have some Chase Bliss pedals here, so I've been using uh, warped vinyl as well as the microcosm, and just doing a lot of resampling. It's honestly like my dream. I'm really just here to make music and putz around and tinker on all kinds of amazing vintage synths. Oh, this is oh, this no time at all. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, it's a D major. Thank you. If we can get that down to like one finger, so it's supposed to be, it's all supposed to be just like kind of like glidey. Wake up, kids, we got the dreams disease. Age 14, they got you down on your knees. So what you give because every time I hear it, I feel like I'm in the backseat of my mom's van as a kid. Um, it puts me right back to that place. Oh my God, am I, gonna, I feel like I'm gonna tear up actually. Oh my gosh. It's such a sweet song. It's such a sweet song, even though the lyrics are so funny. The lyrics are so funny listening to them as an adult. But yeah, it just makes me think about being a kid and my family. This process has just been really meaningful. Oh my gosh, it's really meaningful. Like every detail of it, it's really, really cool. And now I'm getting all emotional because it's like, yeah. 
This is really cool. I'm really glad I get to do this. for watching and being a part of this crazy experience. I have had so much fun making these tracks and working on this whole thing. So uh, I'm happy to finally share this project with you. And uh, those tracks should now be up on Spotify. They are under the Spotify singles. And also be sure to check out the Soundtrap sample pack where I recorded a bunch of these vintage goodies for all of y'all. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Do you have a visa card? Um, <laughs> my name is Ryan Reeson. Um, what was the rest of the question? <laughs>